Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Loop Hero, shall we? Well, uh, I was playing again just while I was on the treadmill and kind of just grinding up, and I realized, I remembered, what I was up to before was not trying to build these structures way up here, which are actually, you know, they require all kinds of stuff, but instead, um, I was trying to upgrade some of these places that already exist, right? So, like, if I upgraded this, for example, um, it would unlock the suburbs card and give me some more storage and things like that. But what I did was I upgraded... Uh, I could actually upgrade this and give 4% um, to the hero's strength and give a food slot. I mean, these are tempting. It takes a lot of metal. But what I upgraded was... Uh, The healer's hut and so i upgraded this and got more potions and i'm really really excited about it i can actually do it again yeah i'm gonna go for doing this again so i just need stone and another orb of expansion and that's great so what we're gonna do is um we're gonna go back and what i did was uh, i got even more stuff that i could equip here uh by one i think and i just equipped more of these skinner's knives and I'm going to go to the expedition, and I'm going to do level two with the warrior, and we're going to start it up again. And I'm going to wait, wait, wait. Immediately drop down this arsenal and uh, equip this, equip this, and equip this, and we got a meadow just half right away. So that's fantastic. I don't need it yet, but we're going to use it when we do. Bam, bam, bam. Beautiful. Put this baby on. Oh, we got a sturdy stool just already. Love to see it. Oh, how about that? <laughs> well, never mind. Not good. Okay, so this is kind of the bread and butter of how I've been trying to help my characters survive as much as possible, which is to build these chrono crystals and throw down meadows like all the way around them to get my healing per day way way up so you see we have six potions and they heal me by six percent which is really not that great but hey all right so we're gonna start throwing down groves and let's go okay and we put a vampire hut there immediately. Uh, I'm going to start putting these over here. Like that. Okay. That can go there. Uh-huh. Smash. Put that up there. Go. Go. Oh, wow, we got a treasury right away. Love it. Happy day. All right, fantastic. So the blood grove goes here. The treasury, we put it here. Um, we got this armor, which is beautiful. Yep, 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 put that on. Mm, this is actually... It's much less hit points, but it's better for damage. Okay, sure. All right. Uh-huh. Yeah, we'll just drop a ruins right there. We're just still farming orbs of expansion. Ooh, we got an exquisite mirror. I don't mind if I do. Oh, I put this in the wrong place. Uh, that was a mistake. I'm vaguely ashamed. We'll fix the problem, but... Okay. 
Great. Another grove. Um, sure. Okay, perfect. Let's keep on marching. Okay, and we will drop this. This will complete that. Fantastic. And I'm just going to keep dropping these down to build my thing here. This will give us more hit points per day. This rapier is just outrageously better. This is fantastic. Uh, yeah, we'll take the raw defense. Let's go. Oh, mercy. Look at this armor. Damage to all. Huge hit points. Yes, please. Okay, and then drop that there. 29 hit points per day. Put that grove there. Boy, we need uh, something to exchange these with if we can get it. Uh, yeah, the damage is too good. I don't need that much vampiricism. Almost there. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, and let's see. Yeah, we'll put that there. And then this goes uh, over here. Alright, let's go. We already have two stone. Alright, beautiful. Now, if I put that there, it would only... No, we could trigger it on three, so that's worth it. And we're up to 41 hit points per day. Just falling out of bed. Put that over there. Let's go. That shield is tremendous for us. Ooh. Ooh, three damage to all and 15 retaliation. Beautiful. All right, and we leveled up. Okay, so... Uh, dominant Mass is great. 20% damage boost to defense. It gives you, like, a reward for playing both of them. And I like that about it very much. Let's go. Oof. Look at this. This is good stuff, is what this is. Alright, so we will look at this. Damage to all defense, attack speed, and vampiricism. Yeah, that's just a slight upgrade, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Almost there. Here we go, finally. Wow. Yeah, it's great. There's some more stuff that I really need, but I'm not finding. That's terrific for hit points. Alright, fantastic. Let's rock and roll. So this shield is the same defense, but gives us regen and evasion on top. Now that's a good deal. 
Oh, well, there's a better one, most likely. Yeah. Attack speed, pure damage, better defense. We will take it. Alright, here's our opportunity to earn an orb of expansion. Wow, okay, so, uh, we got some living fiber. Delicious, all right. And we'll put that there. Mm -hmm. And now we can start, um, I'll begin putting actual villages over here. This is a level 6 hat that gives regen and vampiricism. Yeah, we'll take that. Now this is fine. Mm -hmm. Got it. Sweet. Alright, so we're going to put this one uh, this would only this would hit three, and this would hit four. So we'll put it there. Look at that hit point per day, all the way up to 62. I'm gonna put the road lantern here. Mm -hmm. We'll just start kind of putting more places like this. Hey, that's another level up. Awakened Fragment is great for what we're doing. It was an angry harpy. I mean, I don't know if you can have a happy harpy. Uh, this ring gives more vampiricism and damage to all, and we need that. Go for it. Ah, another alchemist shelf. That's terrific. I think it gives you an extra potion. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, let's drop this down and start having some fun filling that in. Look at all those goblin camps. I don't really care for the goblin camps. So there's a real possibility that what I do is just, you know, oblivion some of these. Vampire Mansion, though. That's good stuff. There we go, finally, a bookery. Alright, I can get rid of these, some of these wheat fields. Oh darn, I, I planned that poorly. That meadow can never flourish. Oh, that's fine. Put it over here. Okay, we're gonna keep on rocking and rolling. Yes. And this is level 7. It gives 20 retaliation damage versus 16 damage to all. I take... Damage to all is just very, very good when I'm trying to fight big groups. Okay. Used a potion. But it worked out because... Um, oh, we're going to put this down. Put down another village. Another vampire, sure. Uh, a battlefield is terrific. And then wheat. And wheat. Um, this ring. More damage to all. Defense, attack speed, yes. Great. Go for it. Outstanding. 
Okay, so meadow, we put it here. Uh, and we can just finish that, that's fine. Uh, this looks like a better weapon on every front. However, are one of these just better? Regen, regen. Now let's go with this. All right, let's roll. Used a potion, but that's okay. Vampire Mansion over here. Look at this. This is like the rich part of town. There's just vampires everywhere. Okay. Now it's starting to get a little bit dodgy. So I'm probably going to want to, you know, somewhat hold off on... Making this area tougher. Just need to boost, like, my vampiricism or regen or something. Treasury is quite nice. Mm-hmm. This helmet's better. Boy, this armor is really tough to pass up on. Nope. That was a nice heal. These villages really help you out. Here we go. Ten percent vampiricism should should go well. Yeah, here you go. Here's some more vampiricism. With our attack speed, you know, we're healing it. Yeah, this is great. Another village. A lot of quests. I could drop that down. Another grove? Yeah, sure. I'm so good against rat wolves that it's like, why not? Alright, put that there. Put that there. Terrific. Yeah, Surveyor is fantastic. Let's just have this on there. And then now we're going to start healing massively. We're about to spawn the boss, so we're going to be leaving pretty soon anyway. Oh, they stole my armor, didn't they? I didn't notice that. There we go. How about that? Oh, those lovable bandits. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and drop that there. Uh, this can go here. Go. And this is a really tough one. Alright, we made it. We got an orb of expansion, which is just outrageously good. Uh, this is more damage we needed. I might have to bail, honestly. 
I don't know how much more of this I can take. Oh, this might be it. Yeah, I got a little bit too carried away. Okay, we survived. Let's put that on to heal. Uh, yeah, that armor is just stronger across the board. Uh -oh. Quest guy. Oh, we got taken down. Okay, so what we're going to do um, is we're going to use our skulls to take all and retreat. It's sad, but sometimes you have to. Perfect. All right. So, at this point, I should be able to go to the healer's hut and... Oh, I'm four stone short. But I think I'll go back to level one to farm for this so that I can uh, make sure to get some skulls back so in case I die, I don't have to lose everything and just keep on building up. All right. So, after that death, something has happened. And you can see it on the screen here. Uh... I was playing on level one, the easiest level with the warrior, while I was on the treadmill. This is something I like to do just while I'm exercising, is just grind away at level one. There's really nothing, you know, too difficult about it, uh, necessarily for me to think about, just some swaps so I can, um, you know, run and walk uh, while playing. And I thought, you know, after... I had finished exercising, I just kind of left it where it was, and it's interesting because I am at this point where I could keep going. I've beat the boss on this level, now you can see I completely blanked and let him um, summon a bunch of Lich's palaces, but we still won, although it was pretty narrow. Now we have... Um, capped out on wood and stable metal. However, we have um, deep pockets, which says resource cap in the expedition is increased by 50%. Okay, so I don't understand quite how this works. I was thinking if it increases your resource cap by 50%, then if 10 was the cap before, I should be able to hold 15. But maybe they mean something else. Maybe they mean overall resources, right? But then additionally, I have supplies, which means the hero leaves 10% of his findings in the camp when passing through. Um, I have post-mortem toll, which gives me a 30% chance to get a random basic resource chunk. And then I have surveyor, which is going to keep us alive. So I'm able to just keep going and going, and I'm having kind of fun doing that. I've also received uh, this smoked ham and this another Skinner's knife, but I've gotten more than this. Uh, it, it doesn't look like that much, but um, I've actually gotten more resources than this, but I keep dropping them off at the camp. And so I'm going to keep going for a bit and see how much further I can actually get. Boss is dead. I got another skull, and I'm just having fun filling in the map. You know, like how much of the map can I fill in? Don't know. Let's do this. Put that there. Uh, do I want another bookery? Uh, these are okay, sure. Okay. Completed the quest, got another meadow which I will place here. What I'm looking for is the opportunity to get some more. Yeah, I mean, I just have seen, you know, rings like this uh, are insane, like level 11 items. Uh, I'm just having fun seeing how powerful things can get. Uh, my ring is still pretty good, though. The damage to all is fantastic.
Actually, this armor, yeah, is better. It's less um, hit points, but it does damage to all. The one thing that's going to get me here is being overwhelmed. And so I'm doing my very best to avoid that possibility. Uh, yeah, I'll put this up here. Got nice attack speed. Okay, what's this ring? No. I don't really value um, counter or evasion very high at all with the warrior. Maybe, you know, if I was going for a specific counter build, but I tried that before with some of the level up traits and it really didn't pan out to being what I was hoping. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and put a village there, and we can throw in uh, a road lantern over there. Okay, I'm going to keep some stuff. Awesome, awesome, look how many cards we just got. Oh, perfect, and we got an orb of expansion. That is what we are here for. That is one of the main things we are going for here. All right, put that there. Give us a bunch of hit points. I'm going to go ahead and slot in this village. And then... Uh, I'll put in the last grove. Okay. A rock can certainly go there as it can go here a blood grove uh, can go there I guess and I'll put in a thicket up here sure awesome okay so yeah all of this looks really good do I want to wear this level 9 hat it's got an insane amount of regen, but I don't really need regen at the moment. So, I'm just going to say thank you, but no thank you. Uh-huh. And let me just put these down. Perfect. Go. Oh, oh, okay. Well, my weapon is most probably better than this. This does have pure damage, though, so it's really... It's de facto 34 to 48. No, this weapon is actually better. It doesn't look like it, but it is. And another meadow. Sure. Another orb of expansion. How amazing is that? All right, this is perfect. Chrono Crystal, I've been looking for that. Uh, a vampire mansion, that's funny. Yeah, we can drop another one of those guys down. A meadow. Uh, I could put it over there. A mountain can go there. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see. Let's check out this armor. Uh, no, it doesn't have damage to all. Let's check out this armor. No, this ring is better pure damage, but it doesn't have any damage to all. But it does have defense, attack speed, regen. Nah, I mean... Well... No. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to swap these cards out. <laughs> Bookery. There it is. Tremendous. Okay, so we can still put down the treasury and have some fun here. Do I even have a place where I can play that card? I don't. Mm -hmm. 
All right, this is a level 11 ring. Which is slightly less damage to all, but gives you some counter and more pure damage. So I will take that at this point. Let's go. Now we got another one of these, but unfortunately I have no place I can play it. I also have no place I can put a grove. Now I could, um, actually I could oblivion this tile and then put the treasury over there. Phenomenal. All right, so the Chrono Crystals will go... Well, I guess that's the best I can do. Uh-huh, finish that. Ruins can't go anywhere. Battlefield, I... Can I put that? Yeah, I can put that down. I'm at four out of six potions, which is still fine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, so we've capped out on a lot of these resources. Really, I'm trying to get stone, or the preserved rock, so I can, uh... Hey! Um... The preserved rock is for upgrading the potion shack again. Take that. Alright, tremendous. Uh, we'll just put regular rock right there, complete that. And let's just keep building up our hit points. Sure. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Almost there, really. Looking great. I'm just, at this point, for my own amusement, um, trying to cover the map. No, that's not good. That's a level 12 hat. Look at that. That retaliation damage is kind of crazy. I have to take it. <laughs> they die just touching me because of that retaliation damage. Uh, the weapon on this is beyond... Or the damage on that is beyond belief. dropped off. See, we, we hit the campfire, right? And so we dropped off some of our stuff. But now I'm getting it. So the reason that it's in orange, even though it's at eight, in, um, is because I've dropped off so many that I can't hold anymore. Even with my 50% boost, I believe, that I've hit the, the cap of resources. They do this so that you can't just go infinite, is my... the, the way I understand why it would be done that way. Um, perfect. Uh, now the Chrono Crystal doesn't really do too much for me now. I'd need an Oblivion um, to like chop out something to put this in. I could put that there though. Mm 
Mm-hmm. Okay. This, some of this armor might be worth considering. It's a lot of health, but um, losing the damage to all is uh, sad. Okay. Oh, we've leveled up again. Um, yeah, Awakened Fragment. That's 25% chance to get a whole resource chunk. Might as well at this point. Okay, good. We got the Oblivion that I was looking for. So, where do I want to wreck something? I think right here at this Vampire Hut. And then I can put that there. And then that there. And then that helps us get... 188 hit points per day. Pretty nice. Mm -hmm. As soon as we get, at this point, to the campfire, I'm gonna bail. I am here. The fire is there. I wish I could put some of this stuff down. I really can't. I can put this down now. Uh-huh. There we go. Yeah, I'll take the regeneration at this point. I have no vampiricism, huh? Nice. I'm at two out of six potions. Yeah, it's getting really, really dodgy, actually. got an achievement called As New, I think, for filling in every single tile. Yeah, I'll take this. The defense is great. This is actually worth it. This should help us regenerate and catch up. Got another resource. I really want an Oblivion at this point, if we could just make it. We are out of potions. Now, we did hit a bookery, uh, but it didn't give us anything to play. There's an Oblivion. Okay, good. So what we can do is uh, hit a... T if there's a, a tough tile coming up, like, I would have hit this one. I didn't... Okay. Right, right, right. Uh... Like, this goblin tile, I'm, I'm definitely going to just oblivion this. Uh, quest failed. That's hilarious. To make it easier on myself. Last time, the books here were on their shelves. What's happening now? Uh-oh, are the books attacking me? That doesn't look even remotely like writing. Do you have any text in human languages, or proto-vampiric, at least? 
I get it, I get it. Let's forget about this mistake and start on a new page. Ah, ha, 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 Oh my god, that page has a skeleton. Alright. Well, we killed it and we got something called Small Talker, which seems good. Looks like I have to be constantly on guard. We do. Who knows? Next time I could be attacked by my own sword. God, I hope not. Alright, we're almost home. Oh no. My world is in agony. The cosmos burns in the flames of the void and we are left with nothing but ashes on our hands. Another vampire maddened by its thirst? Madness. It obviously is. Even our memories were taken from us. Why do you think we were allowed to keep our minds? But even in the thirst fades of my discovery, the books filled with knowledge showed me all that we lost. This pitiful shack that we call our world is not even a fraction of what the world truly is. The books still contain the knowledge of the world. Please tell me where I can find them. All memories and information is very important right now. Incredibly important, I agree. Knowledge can help one bend the laws of the universe. That's what we call magic. I can clearly see your place in this chaos. Do you know why everything around you is trying so hard to kill you? The natural order of things, I guess. Hunger, fear, and despair. It's quite enough to drive anyone into a blind frenzy. Everything around knows you must die. Existence itself tells us this. It screams in terror each time you take a new step or draw another breath. I won't suffer your existence any longer. With all due respect, I don't need anyone's permission to exist. Okay. It was a magical lady with a book. What's all this nonsense about the world and my death? There are already too many problems to keep inventing the new ones. Magical ways of knowing about the past and the future are often fake. It's no surprise so many mages go insane, especially now when going insane doesn't take much effort at all. Alright. We are just about to Shangri-La. Can we make it? Go. Okay. See, so what's cool about a point like this, I guess, is because I have full cards, every time I have to delete a card, it's giving me these Book of Memories. I didn't realize that's how you farm that, but now I understand. So if I want to go for these, I just need to fill up... Terrific. Almost home. No, stop! It didn't stop at the campfire. Oh. No, I can't. You know what? I have to go to settings. I forgot about that. Um, I had turned it off to do that, but I thought it would, uh, there we go. I thought it would give me the opportunity to still run away. Oh, man. Well, we're going to have to see how much we can do, how far we can make it. Oh, that's good. Some more damage helps. Let's just see if we can come up with enough stuff to heal us that we can survive. Yeah, I'm actually going to take this hat. It doesn't have the retaliation damage, but it's going to re recharge me. Take the vampiricism, actually. All right, let's go. No, this hat's great. It's got uh, damage to all and vampiricism and more retaliation. So we, we're healing 11 every time we hit, which is good. Uh, this armor... Wow, it's level 13, but it has less hit points.
Yeah, I'm gonna go with this shield. Get that regeneration. Great, we're healing a ton. Let's go. Level 14 ring. This has less regen per second, but pure damage, damage to all, and evasion. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's better. The evasion. This has great regen. We're getting into Murderous Row here, but I think our regeneration is kind of stabilizing. I don't want to jinx it, but... Mm -hmm. I got an oak bed. Carnivorous roots from the Blood Grove. So once enemies get down to a certain hit points, they just get eaten up by the carnivorous roots. Mm -hmm. It's a level 13 cap, but it's got no vampiricism, so I'm going to wait. Putting a village there actually stops enemies from being able to spawn on that tile. It's interesting, we were doing so badly, and then I just swerved our focus to, uh, you know, regeneration and vampiricism, and now, um, you know, we're doing so much better. So that lady must spawn when you empty the bookery, is that right? Okay. Wow, this is like Book of Memories jackpot. Almost home. Take that. Oh my god, we made it. Alright, so if we leave now, and I've already dropped off all my stuff, it would be interesting if the game like, would let me see everything that I, all of the items that I have earned um, for the supply or whatever, like the, the oak bed and stuff like that, um, at this screen so I could get a full breakdown. But look at this, we're going to get 18 wood, 18 rock, 18 metal, 17 food, 7, 7 orbs of expansion, an orb of afterlife, 3 metamorphosis, 12 book memories, and a orb of immortality. We're going to retreat. Man, that was killer. And then we just go to the healer's hut, and I'm going to upgrade it. And now we get um, one more potion, one more potion refilled at the campsite. We get the witch hut card appearing during the expedition of food and... Um, the healing is even slightly better. More vials means more potions. Every sip increases your chances of coming back in one piece and bringing along some more ingredients, of course. That's right. Um, so if we upgrade this again, um, 
we'll get another potion refill, but no more slots. Now, if the supply, um, we're going to need to, we did get everything. We got this silver pendant, um, we got this smoked ham, we got this oak bed, we got the skinner's knife, and the kitchen knife all on that run. The exquisite mirror, we got an alchemist shelf. Um, the alchemist shelf, by the way, is just ridiculous. Gives us more and more potions to work with. Now, if you want to build something, the alchemist tent um, requires two of these items, which I don't have, unfortunately. I don't even know how to acquire them. But another thing I thought I might want to do is go to the, uh... No. Eight percent to the healing power. That's not bad. Um, unlocks the suburbs card. Gives you some more equipment things. Four percent to the hero's strength. We'll revive the hero with 15% once during the expedition. Jeez, if we uh, upgrade this, that's great. We just need more stone to do that. If I upgrade this, um, it just gives you more item slots for the camp. Where is the... Uh Smithy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's upgrade the Smithy. This gives you basic gear for any class. Blasted me, be my furnace. I used to just be a cabin boy on an Orlop deck, and now I'm a bona fide captain of a blacksmithing battleship. Yar har har, now it's my turn to keep this furnace downwind. You can expect plenty of deliveries from my fiery harbor, I swear on my tongs. Great. From now on, your cargo hold will be full of weapons whenever you embark on a new expedition. Beautiful. It's called a decent forge, and we can't actually upgrade it anymore. Sweet. Well, everybody, I mean, I am loving how well we're doing now. We uh, are at the point where we've got, um, you know, level three on our potion hunt, level two on our forge, um, and we could upgrade the watchtower if we wanted to um, and increase, make them stronger. Actually, yeah, I'm going to do that. This makes them stronger, and it gives you an extra equipment slot, an item slot. The little tower will let us see monsters even further away from the camp. Don't you worry, those beasts won't scare my men. Fantastic. So now we're up to level two here. Um, and if I go to, to the supply, we have more slots, but we actually need... Um, we can't equip anything at the moment. Uh, we're at 16 out of 16. Because, so we need more, right? What do we have? We have uh, seven... Right, because we have... So all 16 items are equipped, so we need to increase this number before we can equip more stuff. And we'll do that by boosting up, I believe, um, the supply depot or building another one. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an excellent evening or day. I'll check you next time. Take care.